Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today is my dog Gravy's birthday so of course I'm going to bake him a cake. This puppy friendly cake has sweet potatoes, carrots, and peanut butter in it so your dog's gonna love it and I'll show you how to make it. For this recipe, you're going to need three quarters cup of flour, a half a teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth a teaspoon of salt, then one egg, two tablespoons of peanut butter, one quarter cup of sweet potato puree, one quarter cup of applesauce, and two tablespoons of grated carrot some small cake pans, or if you have ones larger than this, just one of them. First, I'm gonna take my flour, this is a mixture of all-purpose and whole wheat, and I'm gonna add my baking soda, baking powder, salt, and then I'm gonna whisk it up. Then, in another bowl, I'm gonna take an egg, whisk it up a little bit, and I'm gonna add my peanut butter. I'm gonna whisk that until it's smooth, and I'm gonna add in my sweet potato puree and my applesauce, and I'm gonna whisk that until smooth. Next, I'm adding two tablespoons of water and whisking that until smooth again. Then I'm gonna fold in my dry ingredients, stopping halfway through to add my carrot and continuing until it's well combined. Then I'm gonna divide it between my two lightly greased pans, stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Hello, birthday boy. Did you know it was your birthday? Did you know? Oh, you sleepy? Okay. Oh, yes. All right, we'll let you sleep. The cakes are done when you put a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean. Then I'm just gonna run a knife around, pop them out of these things and let them cool. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a quarter cup of peanut butter and put it in my mixer with the whisk attachment. I'm just gonna whisk this for a minute to warm it up for adding a third of a cup of Greek yogurt. And then I'm just gonna whisk this until it gets nice and fluffy, stopping halfway through to scrape down the sides of the bowl. When it's done, you'll notice it almost has the exact texture of a buttercream, which is actually pretty crazy. Oh, such a good boy. Do you want to lick the whisk? Is it good? Mmm. When the cakes are fully cooled, I'm just going to level off the tops to make it easier for decorating. And then I'm gonna start decorating. Just a reminder, the full recipe for this will be on my food blog. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Next, I'm gonna just take some fun dog treats that I already have at my house and just give it a little design at the top. And that's the cake. Happy birthday to Gravy. Do you want a piece? Do you want a piece? Yes! Are you excited for cake? Here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> <Shut>. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, you're gonna lick the plate clean? I'll help you. The CPC, man. Was it good? Wow! <laughs> Alright, there you have it. I guess it is a winner. If you guys make this for your own dog, I'd love to see a video of them eating it. Just tag me in on Instagram. I'll see you guys next time.